Welcome back, or welcome for the first time. I'm Susan. Let's have some fun. Because I am fun, right? Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Okay, so as you probably know, I wanna talk about this book. It's uh, <laughs> it's Princess Decomposia and Count's Fatula. Isn't that, aren't those like awesome names first off? Um, first off, I really like this book. I thought it was so adorable. When I say so adorable, I mean it is adorable. So, first little thing. Let's read the, I like how it has a little flap. It's not even a hardcover, it has a little flap. Okay. Princess Decomposia is on a verge of a nervous breakdown. Even though she has plenty of her own work to do, Decomposia always seems to end up doing her father's job too. The king doesn't feel good, you see. Ever. So the princess is left scurrying through the halls, dodging her mummy, werewolf, and ghost subjects, always running behind and always buried under a ton of paperwork. Enter Count Spatula. <coughs> there is an exclamation point after that. I mean, enter Count Spatula. Enter Count Spatula! This charming go-getter chef is determined to help Princess Decomposia to sort out her life, and with the, and with the Count at her side, you can be sure she'll succeed. This is adorable. Okay, so you have Decomposia, as stated, overworked, doing her dad, trying to take care of her dad at the same time, and her dad's just like, oh, I can't breathe, or oh, my hip, my hip hurts. You know, oh, there's an ache in my arm. Literally, every single time she asks, how are you doing? She's like, a little better, but now the ache's moved to my other hip, kind of thing, I mean, really? Okay, okay, dad. Thank you for not taking care of me as your daughter. So, yeah, okay. But he's very picky on the food he eats, okay? So eventually the, the like, right, I don't, I shouldn't say eventually, right off the bat, the cook gets fired. Or the cook quits, I'm sorry. The cook quits, okay? And so, on top of all of her other things, Decomposia has to look for a chef. For a new chef, okay? So... She comes across Count Spatula. Count Spatula's like, I love to bake! Eat some cookies and cupcakes! She, literally. He, he's the only person who calls her Decomposia rather than calling her princess. And she actually likes it, you know. She considers him to be her only friend. And then shiznes goes down, okay? Yeah, shit goes down and the king's like, I will not live with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it is really cute. Um, when I first saw it, I, I kind of thought it was going to be for children, and it kind of is for children. Um, I have a feeling this first, second books publisher, which, you know, that's their little mark, zero one. The first, second books publisher, I think they are kind of a uh, publisher directed more towards children's books. Why do I say that? Well, because of Legends of Xena, the Space Girl is also a first first, second books book. So I have a feeling that these are definitely appropriate for children. You know, kind of like scholastic books are pretty much appropriate for children. So yeah, uh, any ages can read this. Um, I'm going to loan it to my niece and see what how she likes it because I think she'll really, really love it. Especially since she's like all about that monster high life, you know. She's like, Claudine Wolf is my spirit animal, okay? And she's like seven. She's like eight. And Claudine's all about, you know, loves fucking Claudine Wolf from Monster High. So I think she will totally enjoy this, you know, because it's Count Spatula, which is supposed to be like Dracula. And Princess Decomposia is supposed to be like the dead. Or, so, you know, something like that, yeah. Yeah. Um, so it is broken for all ages. I give it an A. Just because it's adorable. It was very well written. It does teach a point. You know. And the father's not a total butt muncher the entire book. You know. He does become kind of sweet. So. Yeah. I don't really know what else to say about this. Other than I really suggest this. Even if you don't like kids books. This is an easy read. And it's very adorable. Now. I am going to judge a little bit of the artwork. Um, I thought the artwork originally, 
originally because I did not know it was a children's book. I thought the art was kind of crude. And I'm like, I thought it could have been a little bit more... I don't know. I, just, I didn't like it at first. But now that I know it's kind of, you know, it's a children's book, I think it is very appropriate. You know, it's not so detailed and so caught up that a child would focus more on the images than focus on the story itself. So, I think it's perfect. Okay, um, that's all I have to say about that book. And awkward goodbye? Maybe? Yeah, um, this is the part where I tell you to go follow me on social media and to ask you what you think of it and if you are going to be suggesting it to anyone or buying it for any children for birthday presents or Christmas because I definitely recommend that. Like I said, I'm going to give it to my niece and I hope she enjoys it because she, she's starting to get into comic books and I think this book is just going to pull her in more because it's all, you know, it's so, so along that line of Monster High kind of st stuff that I think she'll like it. Um, so yeah, this is the part where I tell you to go follow me on social media, except the fact that I don't have social media. So the only thing I have is Instagram. So go follow me at Instagram at Susan High School. Spelled kind of weird and funky. You'll you'll see it. And yeah, what do I say now? You can follow me at Twitter, except I don't have a Twitter. I mean, well, I do technically I do have a Twitter, and um, but I haven't used it since like 2011. So. Maybe, no. Yeah, eventually I'll probably get it back. I'll probably start using it again. But yeah, go follow me on Instagram. Look at all my adorable kitty cat photos. Yeah, that's my cat there. Mm -hmm. And that's my stepmother's doggy. Mm -hmm. They're adorable. Okay, I uh, hope to see you later and again, eventually. Ooh. Awkward goodbye. <laughs>